Hi, this is Tara Green, and it's December the 23rd already. We're getting ready for Christmas. We're getting ready for a big eclipse. So the sun is squaring Chiron in Aries early in the morning. Uh, the dark is in Pacific Standard. The lighter is in Eastern Standard. And if you add five hours, you'll get Greenwich Mean Time. So sun in Capricorn is squaring Chiron in Aries. Chiron is almost at the first degree of the zodiac, a very important point called the world point, the initiating point. So it indicates that, you know, we need to go back and revisit those old karmic, I would say toxic masculinity uh, wounds here because Chiron in Aries, you know, every 50 years, Chiron makes a transit. It's entry into Aries in 2019 indicates we're at a brand new healing cycle, which is good, but it's going to take a full 50 years to get to that full cycle healing. Now the moon enters fiery Sagittarius. Things are much more upbeat, optimistic. We have some humor and some fun, and that's a nice energy to go into as we go into the holidays, of course. So moon trining Chiron again. So then there is some healing bomb coming in here. Again, humor is definitely the best medicine. The moon will in conjunct Uranus and Taurus. So again, there could be hmm, power struggles, stubbornness. You know, Sagittarius just wants to move. Uranus wants to be comfy on the couch. So there may be you know, battling over values and, and freedom. And, you know, it's always stressful over the holidays this time of the year. Um, moon and Sag, sextiles, Venus and Aquarius. So again, this is important to let people be who they are, respect people's differences. Uh, essentially, we're all the same. So this is, you know, Venus and Aquarius is very emotionally detached. So this is much lighter energy, considering we're under that incredibly heavy seven objects in Capricorn stellium. Now, uh, the we're also showing the aspects of uh, Tuesday um, on the 24th when the moon squares Neptune and Pisces. Now, if you're having to travel or if you're going to start drinking, you have to be careful here. This is an addiction uh, energy. It's also about avoiding, avoiding conflict, avoiding having to deal with people. So be careful. Um, you know, your judgment may not be this sound. And then the moon, sorry, the sun trines Uranus and Taurus. So again, this is very positive energy, very thinking outside the box, very, you know, doing things in a different way. You know, Uranus and Taurus does not like change. Sun and Capricorn is very grounded, but this is, you know, Saturn rules Capricorn and Aquarius traditionally. So this is about learning uh, all the rules of Capricorn, which we're certainly all going under right now. The heavy, hard, school of hard knocks, you know, the seniors, uh, the senators, um, the rigidity, you know, the, the plutocracy. And then Uranus and Taurus gives us a glimpse into the future, because of course Uranus is going to be in Taurus for the next six years. So get a glimpse into your future self. Also, it is, you know, calendrically, it is the end of the year. It is not calendrically the new year uh, on a natural level, but people do, you know, go with the calendar changes. So think about re-evaluating everything. That's really what Uranus and Taurus is all about. So if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at terratero.com. Follow me on my blog at Infinity Now and certainly subscribe on YouTube. Wishing you blessings.